Hello guys, have you tried out the newest unknown add-on nerf to Vanishing Box? Because I sure have, and I definitely do not like it. At first I thought it would be okay, I, well, I didn't really think that. I said in the PTB that I think it was a little too much and that it was excessive, because um, it made the timer way too long in between each individual clone. And I, I made points on this, I think I actually talked about it in a previous video. However, this is a match kind of showcasing it, and you'll see if you can just keep track, um, or just like passively watch to see how often my clones are up in this following match you will see just how impacted this add-on is and how more of a detriment it is to you because of its downside than actually running it yourself um, even with the footprint cast to increase the hallucination spawns by 15 seconds or decrease it I guess it still wasn't helping this add-on feels absolutely awful now I really wish they would rethink it maybe you know bring it down to like 20% because 80% is just a lot and I, I want to showcase that here in this video but I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys later which Jen actually has the undetectableness and he just goes around like keeping survivors guessing decent on clown too yeah look we're already getting Scordon's value here Let's see if I can kind of Nice. Double hit there. Okay, that was lag. That sound effect is weird. I love Yui's outfit. I love all of the outfits. There's not a single one I would grieve criticism on. Okay, ready, chat? No. I knew she was going to be there. Just wasn't sure where exactly. Oh. Also, I looked in the wiki, and apparently, something I didn't know is Unknown's projectile, projectile actually does speed up the further it goes, but it's just on the fall down. I'm assuming that's just to make it realistic with gravity and stuff. Damn, that was really close. Where is this guy? I have no clue where he went. Wow. Very lucky dodge. It was an inch away from her and she didn't even know I was doing it. That's why I called it lucky, because it wasn't intentional. On her part, at least. That's the second time it happened. Did people actually hug the window? Oh my god. Bro, the lag is insane today. Damn. It's so punishing when you miss, because then you have to reapply it and wait another 7 seconds and then try, and then if you miss again, that's 14 seconds. You know? Also, this always happens to me when I run Pain Res. All my hooks are on one side of the map. What is... Oh, it's disturbing crows. Oh, that's sad. Okay, 
fucking teleport cooldown's almost up. They got rid of my clone over here. So that means they're definitely going for save. Nice. Nice. Okay, it definitely seems like this green add-on's counteracting the negative effects of... Why are you giving up? You guys brought me to Ormond and you're already pretty much doing the equivalent of gen rushing. You are in a perfect scenario to win this game still. Like, you guys finished two gens before I had my first down. They're still giving up. Where's the unhooker? I'm sick of people that hide after unhooking someone so their teammate gets tunneled. It's so stupid. <laughs> like, it happens to me all the time and when we have randoms. The randoms will hide. Oh my god, it bounced into her. Yeah, now we get our pain res value. Having some sort of... I was playing on 200 ping earlier due to the servers, yeah. Apparently the servers have been really bad. Oh, she didn't go for it. She reassuranced it. Oh nice, they went through them. So that new sound effect is when it goes through them, but like... What's, what was the problem with the old one? <laughs> I personally didn't have any issue with the uh, old sound effect. I'm not sure about you guys. Nice. That could have that had a high chance to hit. Honestly, Unknown's power is hardest at tiles like these, where the wall's like big and it's chunky and uneven. If the wall's really thick, it's usually harder. It's freaky, Fang. Is that what you're gonna say? Why are they healing at check? Basement. Are they trying to do like strength and shadows? Yeah, all my clones are just gone. Even that's so sad, bro. Even when I'm running um this add-on to try and compensate for it, they're just getting rid of my clones faster than I can place them. 
because it takes a minute plus to spawn them and a minute and a half or a minute plus to spawn them and then four seconds to get rid of it you know The engine's just so gross for that. I'm level 31 in the rift already. Did you buy that, uh... The, the thing that comes with, like, 20 levels or whatever? Yeah, I will say, overall, the this... The, this add-on change was an overkill. It was definitely not needed. I understand like a 10-20% change to making the clones spawn a bit longer, but the fact that it was horrible running the add-on by itself with no faster like clone spawn time ones, and that even with this add-on, like I have one clone up at a time, running an add-on that makes it so it gets or takes away 15 seconds from the timer. It's just like, it's crazy to me. I really, I really think they over nerfed this add on for no reason. And it, I honestly don't think it needed a nerf in the first place. It was just a solid green add on for him. As you guys can see, this add on is more of a detriment. I really don't think it's worth running anymore. This might actually be the biggest add on nerf in the history of DVD.